hey, sitting here on a Saturday morning, uh, got the shop doors open, hanging out, got the abalone accents perfectly in between the walnut front and the mahogany body and it was a quite quite the process I did it because uh, when I got the body from Mormon I had ordered it with a dark wood accent binding and they used the exact same wood as the front so you could, there was no accent then they rounded it over and that left about a 30 second of an inch so I decided I was going to do the uh, abalone to break up that joint it might just make it look better and when I went through with my purfling tool to cut the groove for the purfling the small little 30 second of an inch strip that they had put on started coming off. So the next few videos, I'm going to break them up into two, three, maybe even four videos. I'm going to cover the steps I took to do this. Uh, really not too bad, pretty time consuming. Should not have had to do it, but glad I did. And uh, we're going to get started right now with uh, how I cut the steps for the purfling and the new binding and then we're going to go on to bending the binding and installing the binding but the tools I used but uh, check out the videos I'm gonna break them up like I said that way uh, whichever one that you may need to view you can view just that one and not to sit through the rest of them okay I've got my steps put in. Uh, the way I did it was just trial and error. I took my router bit, put it in my router, and uh, I started with the largest bearing and cut a little bit in my piece of scrap wood. And I kept doing that until I got to the right bearing to give me the right cut for the thickness of my abalone. Then I sat that bearing to the side. Then I went to the next size down bearing, which was going to be a deeper cut, <coughs> and I started going down sizes until I got the one that worked well for the binding. I cut the binding groove, then I lowered my bit and put the bearing on it for the width of the cut for the abalone and I cut the second step. You don't have to have a, a, a huge shop with a ton of resources. You just have to know where to put the finances at in order to do quality work. Uh, you got to have a good uh, router. You have to have good router bits. As far as holding your work, um, you know, I used, a lot of times I use a, a, an old stool, a clamp, and a piece of cardboard to keep everything from getting scratched up. If I would have had a finish on this, I would have taped over it. But as you can see, it, it didn't hurt it because the only thing I used this router for was guitars. Uh, 